hey guys welcome back to my channel um you know what i've been noticing that i never say my name like i hear so many people with these cute intros and all of that but i don't know like i never do that i guess i mean for you guys if you guys don't know my name is kim and today we're gonna be doing a um a dollar tree haul And I always forget to do a thumbnail as well, so I honestly already had recorded this video, but I didn't really like it. I wasn't feeling it. My kind of my energy was a little low just because I was hungry, but I wanted to get through with this video because I had my makeup done. Okay, so I went to Dollar Tree and this time there was a lot of things. So this time they had a lot of really good things. Or I'm not sure if I just barely noticed these items, but so I love watching the other tree hauls just because it is so interesting what people end up finding. Of course, not every Dollar Tree or 99 cent store is going to have the same things, but you know, um, I think a lot of us are sleeping on Dollar Tree because they have pretty good things. So I'm gonna show you the couple things that I bought and they're not in any precise order. I just wanted to show you guys. And the first item is this makeup brush. So it's from the brand Wet n Wild and it's a blending brush. I actually bought, I think two other brushes, eyeshadow brushes like a couple months ago, but I can't find them. So I decided to buy another one and plus it's just a dollar so why not and you could never never have enough um, blending brushes especially because or if I'm not sure if it's just me but I always end up losing them somehow I don't know why like I don't know how I lose them but I do so that's why I got one of those I act I also got this lipstick and everything is gonna be out of the wrapper just because like i said um i already have filmed this video so so yeah so this one's a this one's from the brand wet and wild and it's in the shade hot red so it's this one here and i'm actually wearing it on right now i actually wanted a red lipstick but i couldn't I don't I guess I could never find like the perfect red tone for me so I'm just trying different shades and just seeing which tone I really like. I usually don't wear red lipstick as well. Like I love seeing it on I love seeing red lipstick on other people but when I wear it it's like I'm not really like a big fan of it but um I'm gonna try it out. I also got these roll on i think they're oils which is like this and it's an oil i actually i got this one the tea tree because i've heard that's really good for pimples and i'm actually breaking out well i was breaking out but um the pimple went down i know it's so bad to pick at your face but if i see a pimple i need to pop it like I could not see that white stuff and not want to pop it it's like it's just calling my name it feels so satisfying just to pop them and I'm not sure if it's just me if I'm the weird person but especially the ones that kind of like pop oh my god those are my favorite but not that I have a, not that I like pimples but I just find it so satisfying when you hear that popping noise and I, I thought that these were just I didn't think it was a roll-on. I thought it was just like um every time I would go to Dollar Tree, I would see these oils, but I never actually picked one. But this time I tried to like really take a look at the things that they had. And they had a lot of pretty good stuff. And I also got the same one, but in the scent lavender. I love lavender. It smells so good. I I just love lavender. So I got this one. I'm not sure how long they last. Probably they, they don't last long just because they're just a dollar. I mean the lavender doesn't smell like it. it's just lavender. It has like a 
like a lime undertone i'm not sure if i'm making any sense i'm so i'm not the best at describing things but i don't know how i feel about that one but it's fine i also got this nail polish and this is such a beautiful nail polish i don't know the cut the name of the color but it's in the it has a number is 909 so in case you guys are interested and it's actually the one i'm wearing on my nails i love this color this color just screams summer it is so beautiful it is so vibrant it is so in your face and i love it um i just like these warm tones like any warm tone with orange with brownish with yellowish like i just love warm tones they i think they are so flattering to my skin color as well so I really enjoy those colors and I also got this um this clear coat um I also got this clear top coat and I got this one because honestly I had already purchased one of these um clear coats I would say about a month or two but I don't know what it is but so I got this one because the one I had bought previous to this one got, it was really hard to open. Like I couldn't get it open. So that is why I had to purchase another one because I couldn't. I tried so hard. I even felt like I was going to get blisters in my hands. Thank God I didn't, but it was just so hard to open. So that is why I got this one. But if you guys have any tips on what to do just in order for them to not like be so hard to open. Um let me know because i don't want to have to keep on buying these top coats even though they... look you guys just to show you how my eyelashes are everywhere like i have a case for my eyelashes and i just never use it so but it was already a crusty eyelash so it doesn't really hurt as bad don't you hate when they're brand new eyelashes and they just like fall apart or you lose them or when you try to remove the adhesive from the eyelash band like the band rips i hate that especially because some of these lashes they they're a little pricey so it's just really sad and heartbreaking for that to happen but i also got these cotton pads um i always try to take advantage of when i see these just because there's times that I need them the most and I cannot find them. I know Target, carry Walmart, and so many other stores carry them as well. But in Dollar Tree, it's just a dollar rather than in Target and Walmart. They're like about two or three dollars. So but I just use these obviously just to remove my makeup. So if I could get them cheap somewhere, I am going to do that. I also saw these makeup wipes from the brand Global Beauty Care. And I, I'm curious about these. Um, hopefully they work well. I know makeup, um, makeup wipes could be a little pricey. Well, it just depends which wipes you get. Um, so I guess I just wanted to try these. And let's see how they work. They also had um, Huggies baby wipes but the only thing i don't like is that it comes in this type of um packaging so pretty much you have to be careful you have to make sure that you really seal this part once you're done using them just because if not they're gonna dry out so that is the thing i don't like about like this type of um packaging or however you would call this but i mean for a dollar i guess so and I got these Aleve um, medicine or pills. I I don't know how I feel about purchasing medicine from the Dollar Tree. I honestly have never done that. Um, two days ago, I was having a very bad headache. And I swear I had um, pills at home for that, but I guess not. I had medicine for every everything else except for headaches so it was very frustrating um i don't know so i guess that's why i got these i don't think i've ever taken pills from this brand either so yeah 
And lastly, I got these sponges. I always like to switch out my sponges. Um, just because well, obviously these these carry bacteria. And I like these because on one side it's a little bit more like on the rougher side. And on the other side it's a little bit more um, softer. Just to make sure the plates and forks and all of that are really clean. So yeah, I got these. And yeah, I think that was it. That was all of the things I purchased this time. And you guys, um... A little story time about when I went to Dollar Tree. Um, there was I kind of like towards the end. I put out I probably would have gotten more things, but I just wanted to leave the store because I noticed that there was this man that was very suspicious. Like that he kept on following me in every damn aisle. And I noticed once he's I noticed when he I I noticed when he noticed me. If that makes any sense. That's kind of like a tongue twister. But I noticed. I don't know. I felt like I got a weird bite from him. Every aisle that I would go. He would go to. And you could tell that he wasn't even looking at anything. He was. He just kind of wanted to like play it off. You know as if he was looking for something. And I was feeling very uncomfortable. And I wish I could say that. I've never experienced this. But I have. And I just hate the feeling that. I feel like I could never go anywhere without having some creep following me all over the store or just that they keep on staring and it's really uncomfortable. But yeah, I just got this bad energy from him and I was actually gonna going to I actually waited until he um paid just because I wanted to, him to leave. And I wasn't sure that was a good idea or not. But once it was my turn to pay and leave the store, I, will, I felt like, I felt scared. Like, I'm not going to lie, especially because of all these crazy things going on. So many crazy things going on in the world. Yeah, you guys, I mean, with that said, like, just pay really good attention and be careful wherever it is that you guys go. Especially if you're alone, like, just try not to be in your phone. And to be really aware of your surroundings just because you never know, God forbid, something bad ever happens to any of us. But it's always better. But um, yeah, that was... So that was my little story of the day, I guess. So with this said, um, I'm going to be ending the video here. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.